So I was asked a question recently about uh, clouds and whether they contain water and the answer to that is absolutely yes. And uh, what we're looking at here is the ice detection probe on our aircraft and it's just this little probe here which operates by vibrating and uh, if you're flying in icing conditions and ice starts to build up on that probe it will be detected by a change in the nature of the vibration and uh, we get an alert inside the aircraft and it can also be used to turn on the anti-icing systems. Now how it works is uh, it operates in a cycle where it has a heating element applied and it will melt off any ice. It then turns off the heating element and uh, if ice starts to form again it's going to show that in the cockpit and it goes through a cycle where it's constantly heating itself, melting off any ice, turning off the heater to see if the ice is still continually being formed and it'll just keep going and uh, as long as it's detecting ice we're going to get a nice indication inside the aircraft. Now also the aircraft has uh, these pitot tubes which measure the airspeed and uh, they're also heated. They need to be heated because if you're flying in icing conditions the hole can become blocked and obviously then you're not going to get reliable readings. But also the leading edge of the wing, you'll see here it's a, a metal surface that is heated by extracting bleed air from the engines, hot bleed air, and piping it through the system. So that prevents any ice from forming. And you'll see even the winglet here has an anti-icing strip. Looking up at the tail of the aircraft, you can also see there's a metallic leading edge there that's also heated. And uh, the engine cowls are heated as well. So there's the uh, front of the engine cowl, which is also heated by bleed air from the engines. This is looking at the front of the aircraft. You can see the little window down there. That's the uh, enhanced vision system. And that uh, surface is also heated to uh, prevent icing. And the windows are heated as well with uh, windshield heat. So I'm now inside the cockpit looking at the uh, aircraft systems diagnostic screen. And uh, we can select through different systems with this uh, panel here. So for example I can look at the AC electricals, DC electricals, fuel, but uh, as far as the icing is concerned what we need to look at is the bleed diagnostic screen. Now you'll see this is showing you the engines with a uh, low pressure and a high pressure extraction point. The hot air can then be fed to the cowl of the engine which uh, prevents ice and also through a pressure regulator to the wings. So we get heated air going to the wings there. And um, when we're flying in icing conditions, which is basically anything below 10 degrees Celsius and inside visible moisture, which is inside a cloud, we generally turn those on. Now, we never have a problem with icing when you're flying in clear skies, okay? You've got to be either in cloud or in rain and uh, with temperatures below zero. So icing is definitely a reality in aircraft. and. As a result, there's our anti-icing selection switches. You'll see there's three positions. We've got uh, off, auto, and on. Obviously, uh, when it's on, it's just all powered up. When it's in the auto position, that um, ice detector probe I showed you at the beginning of this video will detect ice. And when it detects ice, if these switches are in the auto position, it will turn on the anti-ice systems automatically. So yeah, absolutely, there's um, lots of moisture, lots of water in clouds. Absolutely no doubt about it. So there are the switches for the windshield heat which uh, also prevents any ice from forming when we're flying in icing conditions but also flying at high altitude with extreme cold temperatures the window would become brittle if it wasn't uh, heated and that would reduce its effectiveness in protecting us from a bird strike. So uh, two purposes there prevents ice from forming and keeps the uh, the windows at a temperature where they provide maximum bird strike protection. So if you do a search in uh, YouTube for aircraft icing, there are plenty of videos that will demonstrate how ice uh, forms on the window and also on the wing of the aircraft and uh, also explains the theory behind it and the different types of ice. So uh, just remember you do not have this icing problem when you're flying in clear skies. If you're above cloud or in clear blue sky, you just don't have icing problems. It's only when you're in the cloud or if it's raining. So um, when you're in the cloud, it does not have to be raining and you can still have significant ice formation just from the moisture that is the cloud itself.